As the Nigeria Economic Summit will hold for Abuja end with one of Mata with them discuss education. This matter in Royal Highness Mohammed Sanusi II, Emir of Kanu, plus Dr. Kayode Fayemi, Chairman, Nigerian Governors Forum, speak for one complete change inside the Nigeria educator sector and change need to Shelley. Given the number of children you want to educate and the number of children that are waiting to go into school, there isn't enough money in Nigeria to build enough schools, concrete and mortar, employ enough teachers to do this, our normal classroom. So this whole idea of education being in a built school has to go, okay? Um, education is about delivering learning, okay? I've said that in Kano, for example, you go to a local government, you have 40 mosques and you have one school. If you have 40 mosques, you have 40 schools. Sit down in the mosque and learn when you're not praying. Okay, so that, that, that's why. Okay, you've got, you've got churches. I mean, sit down, go there. I mean, these churches, these mon monasteries, education started in religious institutions. The Al Azhar University started in a mosque. In fact, in Morocco, the mosque is the university. So there's no reason why um, all these buildings cannot be schools. The, the Child Rights Act mm -hmm. is a law that is already existing in Nigeria. The challenge is to what extent do we, either at the state level or even at the federal level, enforce the provisions of the Civil uh, of the Child Rights Act, which really talks about access to education, compulsory uh, attendance at school. So it, it's a, a mismatch. You have a Child Rights Act that says all children of school age must be in school. And if they're not, the parents have a lot of explaining to do. And yet you have 10 million children that are out of school. So any of this should hold governors responsible okay. and hold the federal government responsible as well. Education is on the concurrent list. When the federal government says that it's allowed, it doesn't have a voice in what happens in distant states where governors over time have taken license to behave rather irresponsibly in terms of issues of education. Because frankly, when I sit down, I have restless nights. We have very little, the Catholic population in Sokoto Diocese, which is KB Zamfara uh, Katsina and Sokoto itself. We are 107,000 square kilometers. I have five secondary schools. I have to rely on the little collection that I receive in my church to send children to school. And I've, I'm running schools that, for example, in many of the schools, 60% of the children are Muslim.